Thank you for inviting Sistra at this uh, room table. So hello everybody. I am very happy to, to be here to introduce you our study about um, mobile phones data. Uh, first, I'm going to introduce myself br briefly. Uh, my name is Thibaut Janik. I work in the consulting and planning services at the engineering firm uh, Sistra as engineer in transport economics and uh, modeler. Um, so let's begin. Let's begin uh, with uh, contextual elements. Um, as you know, transport models require the collection of large uh, amounts of data. Of course, household travel surveys are the pillar of most transport planning and modeling uh, studies, but other sources of data are emerging as those uh, derived from mobile phones. There are several technologies and ways to, to track the mobile devices. The current study focuses on the array of telecommunications antennas that carry voice and data in the global system for mobile communication, or GSM. This research project consists uh, in a case study that uses GSM data to assess passenger trip volumes at the national uh, French level. Finally, let's keep uh, in mind the data protection rules in France it prevents uh, analysts from identifying an uh, individual. Consequently, the mobile phone operator we worked with sets uh, the following rule. Trips are aggregated. No value below 20 movements can be transmitted to a third party. Mm, SNCF, SNCF Réseau, sorry. Uh, the national rail network uh, company that manages, uh, maintains and develops the French rail network commissioned the Sistra to investigate the potential of mobile phone traces to capture long distance trips over the world country. The study explores this potential, proposes some sensitivity tests, validates the results against uh, independent data sources, and finally concludes on the relevance of mobile phone tracking, tra tracking uh, in this context. Raw mobile phone traces, simple data points, including a location and a timestamp. They provide no information on trip numbers, destination, routing, and mode choice. So analysts must make arbitrary decisions for the interpretation of the data. Sistra and SNCF Réseau had various discussions with a mobile phone telecommunication network operator to specify uh, the data and convert raw mobile phones traces into trip volumes. Specifications deal with appropriate zoning for the study purposes, temporal threshold to define a trip and quality indicators to control the reliability of estimated trip numbers on main transport mode. At the end, uh, the mobile phone telecommunication network operator Orange provided several data sets to Sistra regarding daily trip volumes. All the data sets have been adjusted by the operator to obtain a result representative of the total French population. Next, I want to talk about the zone systems. Um, the, the choice of a um, suitable set of zones, so a zone system, is essential for the elaboration of OD trip matrices. Defining excessively fine zones would yield small trip volumes for each OD pair, and possible to get, it, to get in accordance with data protection rules. Various tests have been implemented to pick up the, to pick up the right zoning. And to comply with data protection rules, we have two, uh, two zone systems. The first one is a fine zone system enables the analysis of short distance flows. It includes 1,300 zones, and you may see in the, in the map. The second zone system is a coarse zone system, enables the analysis, analysis of a long distance flows more than 100 kilometers, and it includes 94 zones. Now the immobility threshold. Uh, to convert mobile traces into volume of trips, we use the time spent by a device in a cell or antenna. 
it determines whether the, the owner remains on trip or has ended a trip. It is essential to define this sufficient time called here uh, immobility threshold. In this study, we have tested two thresholds, one hour and three hours. The values have been chosen consistently with the zoning system. The left graph presents the, the distribution uh, of, trips, of trips obtained uh, from mobile phone and data, mobile phone data linked to the course zone system in volume according to one hour and three hours uh, immobility threshold. The graph on the right deals with a fine zone system. On the left, uh, the graph clearly shows that a higher immobility threshold contrib contributes to a higher estimation of longer journeys, uh, more than 200 kilometers. In fact, in the case of long distance journeys, a high threshold makes it possible to capture a larger number of such journeys compared with a smaller threshold, which will be polluted by intermediate stops and therefore will divide a journey of this type into several trips. The same analysis uh, can be carried out on the fine zone system. Fine zones are only suited to capture short distance trips. Long distance, long distance trip numbers will be too small if finally diced by our largest set of fine zones. The um, fine zone system being limited to the analysis of short distance trips. The three hours threshold loses relevance. A shorter mobility time threshold would therefore be better suited to a fine zone system. To convert the raw mobile traces into trips volume, the operator, the MNO, uh, performed a set of operations. These include approximations, which is not possible to, to judge by looking at the, at, the final, at the final data alone. Different quality indicators, or QI, were developed by Sistra and the operator to understand the reliability of the trip data. Two of these indicators relate to the, to the zoning system and four others relate to, relate to the quality of trip volume estimation for each OD pair and model, model assignment. I will not go into details here, but we, we can discuss about uh, this subject um, just after. The study of these quality indicators show that they have little correlation with the trip volume, but correlate with the distance traveled. The shorter the distance, the lower the probability to capture a much specific antenna. As a result, model inference quality indicators are better on longer distance OD pairs. And I have just enough time uh, to introduce one comparison between uh, GSM traces uh, here on the map in blue and model results uh, on the map here on the map uh, in red. Only the main flows have been retained here. Uh, the left map displays only the flows that to and from Paris. <clears throat> the two data sources match reasonably well. One could, one could however, uh, one could however notice uh, a, Norm a Paris to sorry a Paris to Normandy. OD where the model has much higher flow than mobile phone data would suggest. The right map compares uh, all other flows. Uh, it reveals many OD pairs where the, the model accounts for no trips, suge suggesting, su suggesting that GSM uh, data is more complete. Mobile phone tracking data thus provides uh, precious information that is particularly hard to procure. The flow of travelers across all modes. It remains difficult, however, to assess uh, the validity of the trip volumes obtained from GSM data. To date, GSM data have not, not, uh, not, have not yet been fully updated this model, but used just to check its consistency. <clears throat> and finally, uh, one could draw several lessons from this case study. First, mobile phone tracking data is complex uh, and only a careful approach will prevent its misinterpretation. Transport planners must set the zoning system and the 
immobility threshold consistently, it should best fit their needs and constraints. Moreover, the best we know the algorithms of the mobile network operator, the best we may interpret the data and know the bias. This study showed that the collection of data over a long period facilitated the analysis, the analysis sorry, enabling to capture a greater number of devices traveling on each OD pair. Such, such long sampling makes estimations more significant and often enables to overpass the data protection threshold. The inference of transport mode in mobile phone tracking data must be used with caution and requires further research to become more real, reliable. It remains imprecise for two distances below 100 kilometers. Consequently, one should avoid disaggregating trips by mode on short distance OD pairs. Despite this list of precautions, uh, mobile phone tracking data represents an important potential for the analysis and forecast of passenger, of passenger mobility, not only at the national level as discussed uh, here, uh, but also at a regional level using the fine, the fine zoning system. There is still considerable room for improvements in estimating reliable tube volumes and transport mode. Uh, just before ending this presentation, I uh, just would like to, to thank uh, the people who contributed to this study at the time, uh, Iman Sadek and Redwick at Sistra, and Fanny Anna and Fred Frédéric Henriot uh, from uh, SNCF Réseau. Thanks to all of them and thank you for your attention. And now with uh, Maria Bouet, expert in transport economics at Sistra, we are both ready to answer to your questions about this paper and this presentation. Thank you. Thank you.